What up, my friends? Very excited. Got something huge to show you right here, right now, and some picks, parlays. Let's go. All right, check this out. What if I showed you this MLB picks parlay builder, NBA picks parlay builder, and NHL picks parlay builder, and everything that you can do and research on here for whatever sports book you want? Prize picks, pinnacle, underdog, fliff, sleeper, FanDuel, DraftKings, Bet365. What if I said, all of this information, all of these picks, our entire model for all three sports was pared down into only the best parlay targets and slapped onto a single tool that led to these types of results. Last night, going 17-1. and one. Well, my friends, I'd be telling you the truth. The brand new premium parlay picks tool takes all of the best targets based on our model have led to this. We have a new value targets tool. This is amazing right now it's simply saying hey these are not priced where they should be priced at based on the odds and they're really good bets that are providing you tremendous value a lot of them are going to be longer odds on top of that for the parlay props again i showed you the 17 to 1 list yesterday you guys are able to pick your sports book now and get a very pared down list based on whatever prop you choose or all props in general. Let's say you only have access to Fliff. There you go. You're going to get multiple sports. You'll have MLB, which by the way, we just haven't uploaded it today yet because this is day one, but it's going to have MLB, NBA, and NHL. So you're going to get all three sports in a pared down list that you can use for your parlay picks. Now, if you're like, well, Mitch, I only have Fliff. I only want to play MLB and I only want to target batter hits. Bang. We give you a very short list, that massive, massive list that would have every single prop listed on Fliff using the other tool. Well, my friends, we give you the short list and say, hey, just target these players. And that is how it went 17 and one last night. The premium parlay picks tool is going to be just for members, giving you the short list based on the category, based on the books and based on the sports or leave all sports in there together. MLB, NBA and NHL when it gets uploaded this morning. This is last night, so it's not even updated. I don't want to show away the updated one. It's too good to give away to the public. So you can use public. Please continue to use this. Do all your research and you'll have the massive full prop list to do your research with by all means and if you're like man i just need to outsource my time to these guys we've got you covered the premium parlay picks tool will give you the short list we'll give you the opportunity to go 17 and 1 like it did last night and it's less than a dollar a day on top of that just getting that stuff you get all of our sportsbook betting picks from all of my cappers myself included right here on the premium link down below in the description section all right, I talked about all sorts of parlays that we're going to look at today, and I do. I like tonight. We've got NBA, we have MLB, and let's get to it. Our first one I want to talk about is Luis Castillo on both sites here. I'm actually, this is kind of bizarre to me. Now, yeah, is it going to be hard for him to get six? Absolutely. But I think he's a really solid pick at 5.0. The juice on the over four and a half is very high. I mean, Pinnacle minus 157, you know, Fliff. You Fliff fans out there, minus 160. Uh, you could get this right now on BetMGM for minus 155, but that's trash, right? I mean, why are we paying that? Go to Caesars. Minus 121 over four and a half strikeouts is absolutely glorious. I don't just, I just don't get it. I mean, Boston doesn't strike out much, right? I mean, everybody kind of knows this. A very low strikeout rate versus right-handed pitchers. It's the second lowest in baseball, 19%. Just very good. But they've allowed opposing righties to strike them out five plus times in four out of the last six games. And the only two players that had less than five strikeouts against them in the last six games that were righties were Miles Mikolos and Adam Wainwright, two guys whose player prop was set at three and a half. So the last four pitchers at four and a half or higher finished with five or more strikeouts. Luis Castillo has hit five plus in seven of eight games this season in 30 of the last 35 games. I feel like five is the floor. I love the play on Caesars over four and a half minus 121. And I like it. I won't say I love it. I do like it 
on the parlay sites because I think five's the floor. He's a guy who goes deep into games. He's thrown 90 plus pitches and seven straight starts. This is what he does. He goes deep into games. He gives you a lot of innings. His player prop outs par, uh, prop today is 17 and a half outs, fairly even odds on both sides of it. So you're getting, you know, five and a half to six innings out of him. And this is a guy who averages over one strikeout per inning. I think it would take a really inefficient, a really rough day in the at the office for Luis Castillo not to get five. All right, that's next one. Christian Javier. Wow, listen, he's a really talented pitcher. Oh, and you can see, looks like Underdog just removed him. Still live on Prize Picks. I'd get it now. Here's the deal: seven and a half is a very high pitcher prop against the Cubbies, who strike out a sixth lowest amount against right-handed pitchers this year at just twenty-one point nine percent. Christian Javier, seven and a half. I mean, juiced odds to the under across many different books this morning. He is notoriously known for the last couple of seasons for his home road splits. In fact, on the road, he averages just under seven strikeouts per game. And at home, it's at 6.0. Oh, he's hit the under in 16 of his last 20 games at home. I really like the under for the home tr and road split trend. And the matchup against the Cubbies is just not good. I'm taking this on the sports books. I'll be publishing that for my members soon. And I'm going to go ahead and slam the under here on prize picks as well. Unfortunately, it just got taken off while I wanted to do it for you live. Unfortunately, I think that kind of shows the value here too. This is this is probably going to get bumped down to seven. I don't think it's a terrible play at seven either, but I definitely want to grab the value while I have it right now. I said, I don't want to leave you hanging here. I do have a second pick for you on underdog today. It's going to be Clayton Kershaw. And what do you know? He just got removed. My goodness, my friends. My picks today are getting removed like crazy. Listen, let me break it down for you real quick then because I, he might go back up here. Kershaw's home today. He's had seven plus strikeouts in 11 of 15 games at home in a Dodgers uniform in the last two years. He's hit the over at seven and a half and eight of 15, including all three games this year. So if he comes back at seven and a half, I don't think he's a bad play. There's probably better plays. I'm not ready to say, yes, I'm locking it in at seven and a half. On sports books, I'd probably take this as a single, but as, for, as including as a parlay, I don't, I don't know if that's my move right now. It's pretty minus EV because the odds are plus odds right now. I mean, you get a Fandle Sportsbook plus 114 taking the over, which is pretty solid for singles bets for straights. And nine plus in all three home games. Tough matchups too. The Mets, Arizona, St. Louis uh, facing Minnesota. Great matchup. Third highest strikeout rate in baseball versus left-handed pitchers this season. Five of the last six lefties to face them hit the over on their player prop, including Chris Sale and Jesus Lazardo, both having 11 and 10 strikeouts in their game. So immense upside here for Clayton Kershaw at home, who's fully stretched out. Looks very good right now at home. And I'm going to go ahead and take the over at 7.0 on underdog if it goes back up. And on FanDuel Sportsbook, I'll take the over for Clayton Kershaw. All right, I know I bounced around a lot today, underdog. Uh, prize picks. I showed the premium parlay picks tool. I showed you the free parlay builders that you guys can use and do all your research with. Uh, if you want access to these things, just down below in the description section, click that button. It says premium. You guys can see the information or just use the stuff for free once you're on the website. If you do want to help out me, support me and my free content, my free picks, my free tools, you want to keep all these live, just help me. Hit the like button, drop a comment after, say I love the tool, whatever it is you want to say. And uh, hopefully tonight, the premium Parlay Picks tool goes 17 and 1 again. And we're all just basking in the glory of green screens everywhere. So I'll see you on the inside, my friends. Have a good day.